Chapter 8. The comic is mightier than the spitball. George and Harold were straight into the detention room. Man, said Harold. Melvin is such a telltale. Somebody ought to teach him a lesson. And we're just the guys to do it, said George. So George and Harold created an all-new comic book featuring everybody's favorite telltale me Mimi. Melvin Sneedley, when they were done, the two boys speak out of the detention room and ran off cop and run off copies on their wastest was work and sell them in the hallway. <laughs> the new comic books was a great success. Everybody loved it. Well, everybody but Melvin Sneedley. I should say, as Melvin walked to, to his last class of the day, he noticed small groups of students in the hallway reading their comics together, reading comics together and giggling. Normally, this was enough to make Melvin run straight to the principal's office and tell everyone for unsupervised reading, <laughs> which was strenuously forbidden. But today, Melvin noticed something strange. They read, they read, the comic reading students were pointing and laughing at him. What? said Melvin. What's What's wrong? Why are you guys laughing at? Melvin looked around the hallway desperately. Everybody was laughing. Everybody is pointing and it's driving Melvin crazy. He marched over to to a group of second graders, grabbed the comic book, out of their hands and look at the cover. Melvin was furious. You guys are so immature! Shrieked Melvin. <laughs> he quickly darted off to read the comic in peace, but everywhere he he ran, he came across more pointing and more laughing. Finally, Melvin thought of the one place he could read the comic in private. <laughs> he went into the boys' bathroom, locked himself in one of the stalls, and sat down to read. Splat! Splat! As Melvin sat reading, his legs dripping with ketchup, he became anger and anger. I'm gonna get George and Harold! Melvin vowed. <laughs>